Welcome to day 16 in your Building Strength for Life plan. This is a 31 day plan to enhance health, build strength and supercharge your confidence. And today, day number 16, is all about the arms and the abs strength. We're in week number three now. This is day two of week number three. We are building power. So we're gonna be using some weights and we're also using the mat as well. So we're gonna be working on lots of different complex and compound exercises to get as many muscles involved as possible to build that strength. So if you're ready, let's get going. Okay, so let's get going. Now you can start this um, first phase of the workout without any weights if you feel like you need a bit more of a warm up. There is the five minute warm up that I've tagged at the top of the screen that you can do if you need an extended warm up, or you can jump straight in with me with the weights. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the weight to the knee and pull out into a diagonal. So weight to the knee and out to a diagonal. So this is where you're gonna need to use a lighter weight and making sure that you're holding into those tummy muscles and that you're not twisting and bending and flexing through the upper body. So nice and strong and straight. You're not coming round here, okay? You're not bringing the head and the shoulders back. Strong and straight, eye gaze focused forwards. And this is a bit of a devilish exercise, isn't it? It does feel a lot harder than it looks. And take a rest, we're gonna switch to the other side and then we're gonna do something else and then we're gonna come back to it, okay? So just warming up those shoulders. So again, if you feel that it's too much to jump in straight with the weight, if you haven't done a warm up already, then do this first one without a weight. Ready? Let's go. Hand to knee and out and out. So drawing that nice diagonal all the way across your body, bracing into the core. Remembering you are not sucking in that belly just holding tight through the muscles. Good. At the end of this exercise, your body's gonna know what <laughs> you want it to work today. It's gonna know it's an arms and abs workout. Good job. Making sure we're not speeding through, not using momentum here. You can hang on for another couple of seconds and take a rest. Keep that weight within easy reach because we are gonna use it back in a minute but come to the edge of your workspace. We're gonna do a hand walkout or an inchworm. Now I'm gonna show you a variation for this. So you can do the variation if you need to um, on a raised surface. Otherwise, onto the mat with me. At the end of the mat, let's go. Forwards fold down into a bridge and then coming back up. Shoulders come back and down we go again. Now, as I've said, for other workouts in this plan, you can squat down, walk forwards, hold the bridge, come back in into the heels and up, or you can go with the straight leg or somewhere in between. That's totally fine. Wherever works for you, but always trying to engage the tummy muscles into the arms as you're going into that full weight bearing and finish the one you're on, take a rest. Well done. That exercise is as much about confidence, knowing that your body's gonna do what you want it to do as anything else. So if you want to start on your race surface with a the variation, then please do feel free to do that. We're gonna go back to this first exercise. So when you're ready, let's go. Good job. Open, good. So really working on the chest, the shoulders, and of course, into those abs. Well done. Building strength is more than just lifting in one dimension. So we're not just forwards and backwards, up and down. We're going across here, working in 360 degrees of movement. And take a rest. Always finish the movement. We're gonna switch to the other side. Okay, so again, just feeling stable, feeling controlled, slowing everything down if you need to. You don't need to do the same number of reps. Let's go as me. We work for time so you can work to your level. If I said do two, 10 reps, that may be too many for you. It may not be enough. 
So working to your level with the equipment that you've got, that is gonna work for you. Okay, so that's why we do it this way. Different if you're working with a trainer one-to-one. -one. Much harder to do a one-size-fits-all approach. So this is how we do it. Good job. Well done. Two, one, finish that exercise. And then we're gonna go back to that hand walkout again, using the variation if you need to. Otherwise, at the end of your mat. Okay, ready to go. Two, one, let's go. Walking out into that bridge, coming back and stand. Now we will be using this exercise a little later as well. So I want you to really make peace with this exercise now. Okay, because we will be using this exercise and adding into it a little later into the program because it's such a good one. A whole body exercise, working into the upper body, bearing the weight. Okay, so if you're hating on it right now, <laughs> just bear with it. Two, one, finish the movement you are on and come back up to standing. Take your weight. Again, I'm just using my light weight today. And you're gonna hold it out in front of you. Grip it nice and firmly in the middle. You want your feet around a bit of shoulder width apart. Bring that weight out in front of you. And you're gonna twist to the side, back to the center, side and center. Each time, you are gonna keep your hips facing forwards. Okay. So twist, forwards, twist, forwards. Now, if the twist with the weight is a little too much for you, you do not have to use the weight. Okay, if the twist in itself is too much for you here, then I will show you a variation, something else that you can do instead. That'll be at the top of the screen. Good. Two, one, take a rest. We're gonna come back to that exercise in just a moment. Keep hold of that weight. We're gonna work into the backs of the arms here. Again, engaging the tummy. If you want to do this from a seated position, you can. Okay, you don't have to do this from standing. You're gonna bring the weight behind your head, holding it into the palms, behind your head, pushing up and slightly forwards, back down. Up, slightly forwards and back down. So if you're doing it from a seated position, okay, behind, up and forwards, drop down, up and forwards, okay. Remember to adapt if you need to. If you want to work for 10 seconds, take a break, do another 10 seconds. I see lots of you talking in the comments about making adaptations and alterations, which is so brilliant. Take a rest. And also it empowers other people. Okay, it empowers other people who are doing these videos and doing their own exercises to know that that is okay to do. So thank you so much for sharing your adaptations. It really does not only empower you, but it inspires and empowers other people. So amazing, thank you for that. And let's go back to the standing twist. And on the subject of comments, thank you to everybody who has so far left a comment on the videos that they've been doing. If you have stuck with me today, 16, if you are still here with me, this is officially the point where I can say, we are over halfway at the end of this session. So amazing work. Let me know how you're getting on. Are you still with me? If you're still with me, leave me a comment. I've loved, loved, loved reading all the comments, responding to all the comments, answering questions, and take a rest. Well done. So thank you so much for sharing your comments with me. It really does mean a whole lot, your support, and also to know that you are doing this with me because it really does make a big difference. When I'm recording these, I am speaking to you. Bring that weight behind your head and let's go. Pushing up and back down. Let that weight feel heavy as it comes down behind and up if you've got a 
big old ponytail or a big lot of hair back there, then you might just want to adjust that out of the way. Good job. Push and come back down. Keep that breathing nice and even. We are going to go back to those hand walkouts next. So just get yourself ready. Okay, I believe in you. We can do this. And that's your lot. Take a rest. Come to the edge of your workspace. I will show you a variation. We're going to do three rounds of this hand walkout because there is huge value in doing this exercise. Okay, not just because I'm a glutton for punishment and so are you. Okay, not just because of that. Come to the edge of your workspace. Follow me along as we come down into your hand walkout and just watch for the difference. So into the bridge, either drop to your knees or stay on your toes. Press all the way down, push all the way back up again and go again. Okay, so if you want to come onto your knees, you come to the bridge, knees, press, up. Okay, so starting to work now into that press. You can come all the way down, hands off, push up. Or you can do it in one. Down, press, and up. So your different levels. Take a rest. Two more rounds of that. And I know lots of you have been commenting saying press ups are really hard, you're finding press ups difficult. I hear you. I'm going to make a video all about press up variations, okay? Ways that you can build up, build into your press ups. Let's go again. Because they are really, they are really tricky, but there is huge value in learning how to do a press up. Okay, the biggest value is in if you are able to push yourself up off the floor. That is a really amazing thing to be able to do that could be life-changing as you age, okay? That's not just for how many presents can you do. Obviously, it's life-changing in your social status as well. But in all, in all honesty, it's really important to be able to push yourself up off the floor if you find yourself down there. Take a rest, one more lot to go. But of course, these things don't happen overnight, so please do take the time to learn how to do it properly. Okay, you can do it from a raised surface, you can do it from a wall or a window. Build your confidence, build your strength. <sighs> Ready? Last one, let's go. All the way down. And again, we're not rushing. We are, every time we're doing this, whichever level you're working to, we're holding each position before we go to the next. Pushing up, whether you're doing a straight leg, whether you're doing a squat, whether you're dropping to your knees, coming down, taking a pause, or going in one go. Totally up to you, of course. Well done. Finishing the one you're on and take a rest. Okay, make sure that you have had a quick drink of water. Okay, you need to do what you need to do. Take off a layer, open a window, whatever it is. We're gonna head down to the mat next. We're gonna do some lying toe taps. We're gonna give those arms just a little bit of a reprieve. As you lie into your mat, bring your knees off the floor and you're just gonna tap, 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 and tap. Nice and gentle. Pushing your back into the floor as you lie down. Hands by your sides, not gripping the mat for dear life. Tap, tap, tap. Now 40 seconds may feel like a long time doing this exercise, or you may feel that this is a really easy exercise. If you wanna make it a little harder, then you can tap further away from your bottom. If you wanna make it a little easier, slow it down, slow it down. But each time you're tapping down, you're doing so with control. Take a rest, well done. And of course, you're breathing throughout. <laughs> Nobody please stop breathing. I'd like everybody to continue to breathe as we work together, please. <sighs> A few grounding breaths. Safe in the knowledge, let's go, that you are over halfway through. You're doing really well. Most of the really hard exercises are done. Those hand walkouts depress. 
they are really tricky, but you did so, so well. You did really well there. Let's keep going. Working to your level, taking a break if you need to, changing the position of your toe tap, always working with control, so no thudding down, and generating all of that control from your core, from those abs, two, one, and take a rest. Amazing work. Coming up into a seated position, bring a weight if you want to. You do not have to use a weight here if you don't want to. It just adds the arm element into this exercise. I'm gonna show it to you with a weight, and then you can always take the weight out if you want to. So we're gonna come side, side, center, push. Side, side, center, push. Feet on, feet off. You can do a leg pedal if you wanna make it tough. Pedal, pedal, hold, push. You can tap one foot down, then the other, hold them both up. You can do one, the other, both down. Keep them up the whole time, down the whole time. The feet really do make the difference in this exercise. And of course, you don't have to use a weight. Side to side and push. Three, two, one, take a rest. Now, I've, been, <laughs> I've said that that is a lovely exercise before in some of my members' live workouts, and they disagree. They don't like it when I say that that's a lovely exercise because they don't think it's a lovely exercise, but I'm gonna stand by it because I like the way that it feels in a strange kind of way. Ready to go again? Let's go. Twist, twist, center, push. Twist, twist, center, push. Good. So again, you can slow these down, take out the weight, change how it feels, change the intensity with the foot positioning so you can really go for it. With the pedal and the weight, make it super challenging. You can bring it back down. Well done. And always making sure that the head is following the arms, take a rest, but the eye gaze is not following the weight because we don't want to get dizzy. Okay, so just making sure that you're breathing, that your chest is open, that you're twisting, that you're making every movement really intentional. You are where you think you are. You are where you know you want to be. And let's go. Because that is our body confidence that we talk about. And that's one of the aims of this plan. So three aims of this plan. Enhance health, build strength, and supercharge your confidence. They are the three aims. I hope that we're gonna get three big ticks by the end. And I'm not saying you'll be the finished article, but you should be well on your way by the end. Good job. Keep going, we're nearly there. And take a rest. Amazing work. I'm gonna get the other weight now because we're gonna be doing a lying arm exercise. So down onto the mat, hold the weights by your waist. So my palms are facing into, the into my um, hips here. We're gonna raise up the weights, turn the hands, push down, push up, turn, lower under control. Okay, that's what we're doing. So again, up, twist, down, push, control. So I've just brought my knees up off the floor, which is an adaptation that you can do. But if that's too much, then have the legs laying down. Up, twist, down, push, twist, return. Take a rest, well done. We're gonna do three of those. There are complex exercises, it's two exercises in one. So you can do as many of these as you want to in the time that you have, but you won't get many done because they are a complex exercise. There's a lot to get done. So feet off the floor if you want to. Let's go, raise them up, twist, down. Elbows just touch before you push up again, turn. Bring those weights down by the side, 
Then you're up again, twist, down, push, nice and slow. And those weights start to feel heavy. And as they start to feel heavy, they tug into those abdominal muscles. Twist, control, push the back into the mat, keep breathing, and again, good. All the way down, we're gonna do one more. Finish the one you're on, or if you've just started with me, we're gonna get this one done. Really short amount of rest. Take a rest. And we're gonna do one more. Well done. Good. Three, two, one. Let's go. Bring up those weights. Turn, touch down, push back up, turn, all the way back down, tap back up so there is a tiny moment of rest at the bottom but it's a flow of two exercises in one which you can stop at any point so you can take a rest here push back up turn come back down take a rest here or you can continue into the flow up to you your workout your choice and of course you can put those feet down if you want to if it's too much into the abs with the feet raised and take a rest okie dokie last exercise coming up You've done really really well this is a 25 minute session fully into the arms and abs okay I'm going to show you this exercise there are variations for this exercise they'll be on the screen coming into your modified position you're going to come around eye gaze follows fingertips and come back in so around, opening up the chest, and to come back in. So of course you can do this on your toes. Now, at any point from now, you may want to add a little extra. So you're coming up and round, and instead of coming back down to the mat, you're gonna come through the other arm. So you're gonna come up and round, down, and through. Okay, one more then, and through. We're gonna switch sides. That is an optional extra to do that thread the needle, that's an optional extra. You do not have to do that. If you want to do it, you can, and you can do it in both, all three variations. Okay, that's your knees, your toes, or your raised surface. Let's go again. So let's treat this side with the same, the same amount of respect as the other sides. We'll do a couple. Or three with just the windmill. Eye gaze follows fingers. And then, if you want to, you then add in that thread the needle, round and up, thread the needle. But you don't have to. You can stop at any point and put the hand down onto the mat. Good. Take a rest. Well done. One more on each side. Doing really well. It's a tough exercise to finish on, isn't it? I know it's a bit mean. It's a bit mean, I know. Sorry. <laughs> but I like to give you options because the adaptations are not always to be to make the exercises less intense. Sometimes we want to make them more intense. Up and round and through. Up and round and through. If this is just too much for you, you know where you can sit. You can sit into just the windmill. And you can, of course, do that from an all fours position here if you want to. A little easier to do with the hips back. And if you're struggling to find that position, then come into an all fours, step those knees back, push the hips forwards. Good job. Last one here, take a rest, and we're gonna go into the other side. You can come off those wrists, this one is tricky onto the wrist, especially if you're coming up and round and threading through without any gap in between, then it does take its toll into the wrists as well. So just be mindful. Here we go, last one, and this is our last exercise for this session today. So remember, whilst 
all of these exercises have been put into the plan to help you to build strength, to enhance health, to supercharge your confidence. There may be a few exercises that you just maybe aren't ready for, you can't get the hang of, okay? If it's the first time you've done them, then cut yourself a bit of slack because we can't all do things the first time, okay? So just remember, it might not be anything other than a little inexperience and take a rest. But if you've got to the end of this session and this is day number 16, then well done. Seriously, I'm so grateful that you're here. I am so proud of you for being here. I think you are doing amazingly. Tomorrow is a lower body session and that is just a 15 minute lower body session. So a nice short lower body and it's a really great session. So I cannot wait for you to join me for that one. Please don't forget to leave a comment. Please share, please like. Um, and you can head over to my website, strengthandbloom.com, if you want to find some longer sessions, members only, live sessions as well that you can do on Catch Up. Those sessions you won't find anywhere else. They're only on my website. So if you like the sound of that, head over to strengthandbloom.com. And if not, I shall see you tomorrow for day number 17. Take care. Bye.